direction we're gonna push okay if we pull so far, um, the girls have been two weeks with me, um, so they've been lifting three days a week, and then Fridays have all their conditioning um, on Friday mornings. So, so far, um, it's been great. Uh, the new girls have adapted really well to what we're trying to do, um, and the returners are kind of setting a good example of what the standards are for this team and how we train in the off season. So, um, so far, so good in terms of that. We started today with a catapult GPS system, which um, basically tracks uh, how the players move when they're training. So um, from the distance they run, how many sprints they do, how fast they run, um, how many times they change direction. Um, those are all valuable metrics for us to look at um, with soccer. They have a lot, of, um, a lot of research that's gone into tracking GPS, tracking acceleration, tracking deceleration, tracking overall player load. So we want to go with a company that is has been reliable and has been used for probably about the last two decades. Two main reasons why I want to use it. The first is to prevent overtraining. So um, the SEC schedule is very tough. Um, we play Friday, Sunday, um, and we're playing against the top teams. So we want to make sure that uh, our players are recovered and also ready to perform their best when we need them to. So we're looking to structure our training through the week so that um, girls are peaking at the right time um, and not overdoing things. So that's the first thing. The second thing is to improve performance. We want to make sure that the things we're doing in practice match how we play uh, and prepare our players for that. Um, this system will help us track the players as they move during practice uh, and really refine how we're training so that it matches what we need to do, especially when we get to SEC play and the tournament.